pre-season is about breaking down and rebuilding bodies. The responsibility of maintaining the finely tuned athletes for the rigours of a contact sport is one not taken lightly. During this period we've got a, a big focus on getting them through as, as much work as we can. You know, it really sets us up for, for the season because obviously there's a reduced time between yeah, tournaments. Um, four cone uh, rear lay, heavy ball, really narrow. 30 seconds and then we'll get some width and use the rugby ball. Okay, then kick ball reflex, bad pass pick up, switch loop 5v5 and then 6 in bibs. And I'll bring the boys down here. The point of the pre-season to me is to prepare the, the players both probably more mentally and physically, so pushing them as hard as they can go, possibly uh, harder than they've ever gone before. Yes, Diana. Well done, me ball. Wide, wide, wide. Um, so that physically they're, they're ready, but also um, mentally they know how hard they can push themselves. So when it comes to a tight moment in a game that they can perform at their best. Nice tap D, good composure. Girls, just while we're here, team three, be Tiana, Shani, Varni, Caslick, Quirk, Cherry and Green. Okay, the next one, team three. Really good, nothing through the middle, least they forced them onto the outside. Okay, team three, you ready? Yep. Training with the boys is not a battle of the sexes, but instead a reverent nod to the advancing science of sport. The women's ability to mix it in terms of skill and fitness is a credit to the training innovations that Rugby Sevens continues to implement. All in all, I think it's good for us. Okay, certainly many, we'll look at the video, many areas to improve on, but um, good intensity too. <coughs> One, two, three, Aussie, bring it! Let's go, high, high five the boys.